uh, the big ulcer there, the green color is an ulcer. It's a fresh ulcer, that's why it's very green on this side, you compare to this side. Yeah. And the juicy also do it. Yeah. What happened to these dogs? Why are all their eyes green? Keep watching to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinarian educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. This video is about eye cornea ulcers in dogs. Singapore is a city-state with population of around 6 million people. Over 80% of the residents live in high-rises. Dogs are common pets in Singapore. What are eye cornea ulcers? An eye cornea ulcer is a sore in the corneal surface. Causes may include blood trauma, dry eyes, infections, or insertion of foreign objects into the eye. So how do we check for eye ulcers? A fluorescein stained eye test is used to detect the presence of eye ulcers in the cornea. The dye is placed between the eyelids of the dog. The orange dye in the eye strip will stain any existing eye ulcers green, indicating the presence of eye ulcers in the cornea. This 8-year-old Shih Tzu had a painful right eye. What to do? 2nd August 2018 This is a Shih Tzu. Male, sterilized? Uh, not sterilized. Not sterilized. Mm. 8 years old. So what, what happened? Uh, don't know he... This time he like come to come up to my bed but mm. didn't come out at all. But after that he quietly uh, hide somewhere. No? Then I go and see why his eyes are this. Uh. The right eye? Uh, right, right eyes. Right eye. uh. hold this. Uh. Okay. Mm. The left eye? Eh? Okay. The left, left eye seems okay. Never. You start the right eye is wet. Uh. Wet eye tearing now. Yeah, tearing. Uh, yeah. Now it's better. Really. And then half closer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Now it's suddenly. Uh, uh, when I reach you hold it. Suddenly, right? Mm. And for when, what time it started? Uh, just now I call you that time. Okay, about one hour ago. Mm. Uh. Then after that, after that I was closed. Everyone uh, asked, like, can you open like this? Uh, then mm -hmm. hide. If you want to hide somewhere, then I quickly pull him up. Mm. Then go and drink water. Mm. Then drink water, okay. Then it's open, solid. open. Uh, half a lady. Mm. Then we here can open whole eyes. Okay, we hold first. Huh? Yeah. This this test will show whether it's ulcer or not. Mm. If there's ulcer, then the the green color, the the mm. corneal. Because green. my my house, mm. the the big. So the, the green color is an ulcer. It's a fresh ulcer, that's why it's very green on this side. You compare to this side. You know? And the juicy also do it. Yeah. This type of dog is quite quite famous for eye injury. Mm. Due to the big, eh? uh, protruding eye. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Does happen only, that's why it's, it is a uh, fresh green. Uh. Mm. Let me, you hold first, let me take a photo. <laughs> so at least we know what's wrong. Uh. It's a cornea ulcer. Uh, open up. You can describe it as five five millimeter times four at the widest. Uh. And uh, let's shine at a corner uh, so you can see the right eye has got it. Present mm -hmm. stain positive the green. Then the other eye, uh. nothing uh, should be. Uh, this one should be the shine at the corner side. So that's the reason why the eye eyelid is closed mm -hmm. uh, because it's painful. Uh. But so, it's like scratches, uh, scratch. yeah, he got scratched, uh, correct? Something scratched into the eye. So now it's a superficial, mm. it's only the cornea, it's only the superficial. Mm. So it's good so news. So it will heal by itself uh, if you take care of it. It will heal, become okay. a white spot. Uh. White spot, they don't, white they, spot, but it's still very broad. Uh. Uh, the other way is I like, close up like, like that, and then about 12 days later, it opens up. Uh. Even I stitch up the eyelids, and then uh -huh. 12 days later, it opens up, then you will see a white scar. Uh, so there are two ways of treating this. One way is just mm, wear the e collar mm, and, and uh, mm, you protect it, uh, prevent it from scratching. The treatment for this case is tarsarafi. First, the suture goes through the stint mm. and through the top eyelid and to the third eyelid. 
and down the bottom out of it. On the second, second drawing, we can see that the suture goes through the bottom stint. And in the third picture, we can see that it goes back through the third eyelid and up through the top eyelid and through the top stint. The fourth picture, we can see that um, the suture is being tightened up and in the fifth picture, the eyelid is securely closed. Okay. So the eye remains closed for the next 10 to 14 days to allow the ulcer to heal mm. without irritation from dust, wind and sunlight. Antibiotic eye drops and painkillers are given in patient for 10 to 14 days. Mm. So At the end of the surgery, the dog's eyelids were stitched up. The vet also gave you an eye drop and oral medication such as antibiotics, painkillers and anti-inflammatory medication for treatment. Outcome So here is 16 August 2018. This is an 8-year-old male not neutered Shih Tzu. He had an uh, eye cornea ulcer and came in 14 days ago. Correct. So today we are going to remove the e-collar and check for any uh, ulcers and Correct. also to remove the okay, stitches remove, remove on the e collar first. Now the dog had undergone a, a surgical procedure called tassography. Tassography to the layman is actually sewing up the upper and lower eyelids to cover up the eye, like an eye patch in human beings. And with, with that, the cornea inside is, is uh, protected by the eyelid being, being sewn up. Then the, the owner would, would uh, apply eye drops every day and check. And after 14, 10 to 14 days, the stitches are taken out. Now the stitches are applied through the two tubing so you can see. Eh? Okay, so now my assistant will hold the dog properly. You hold like this, hold like this. Okay, now you can see, uh, let's see very clearly. So we'll cut the knot at the top. There's a, this is like a horizontal. Now the dog has rubbed off the lower stitches. So that's why you can see that uh, it's half open because the e-collar was taken off. And check 14 days whether the cornea has healed well or not. Hold properly. Eh? Hold the neck, uh, neck area. Hold. This dog is not fierce, so we don't need to sedate. Yeah. The, the the knot is not cut yet. I think the, the suture, the cross stitch on top. There's a, if it's cut, then it will loosen everything. Uh, yeah. Okay. So slowly, use forceps to, to take out the tubing. Okay, below also. Okay, now. Put eye drops to clean up the eye first. See any discharge or not? Let me see this. There's bound to be some. Hold the head properly, hold the head so that it doesn't move around the head. The assistant must know how to hold the head now, correct? Looks, there's no discharge either. So the owner has done a good job. No redness in the sclera compared to the other eye. Let's see the other eye. Hold the head so it doesn't bounce up and down. Hold the head from the top, you hold the head. Prevent the dog from bobbing up and down. Hold the head down a bit there. Yeah. This is called restrain. Uh, learn how to restrain a dog. That's the intern uh, hands on practice. Uh. Okay, now f let me see the other eye. It looks good also. The one has no ulcer, but still we just check and clean up. Owner is very particular about the dog's health, so this dog is very well looked after, as you can see. Uh, close the eyelid before you wipe. Uh, before you wipe, always close the eyelids. Uh. Some owners, they don't do that, so they cause scar scarring. Uh. Okay, now you put one, one eye, we put the drop, the eye, we put the strip. There, there are two, two uh, ways which we can apply the fluorescent. Eye stain, show the, the name. The name is called, what does it call? Fluorescent sodium optomic strips. Huh? And the other one, why is it called? Same thing, more or less. Huh? This is a drop. 
fluorescent sodium 2%. Okay, so one eye will use the drop, the other eye will use the strip, just to demonstrate the use of the, the, the test. So, okay, the, the right eye will use the two drops in, and we wait for two drops, not one drop. Huh? Just in case it's not uh, sufficient. Okay, let's see, close the eyes. Then the left eye we will use the strip. Now, usually the strip is more available, more commonly available, and it comes in separate packages by itself. Yeah. Now, insert in between upper and lower eyelids uh, in the in the like media con canters. Close it up for about at least a minute. Not so fast. You let the dye perfuse throughout. Uh. Just hold it up. Did the dye spread? Let's see. See, see the dye spread now, first of all. Oh, there's no dye at all. There is very little in here. Because the eye is quite big in, in, in Shih Tzu. Okay. That's right, that's right. Okay, put back in the cover in the put back in first. Okay, actually we will, we will check the right, right eye now, check the right eye. With the drop drops yeah. And in green, there seems to be a bit of a green. Uh. We'll just flush the eye first. Hold the head, hold the head, hold the head. The best is hold from the top there. Yeah. Uh, correct. It's not a painful process. This is a quiet dog. So, if there's no green, as you see in the other video, then the cornea is free from clear of ulcers. Yeah. Down the head, put the head down a bit. Yeah. Hold the head from the top. Yeah. Okay, enough is sufficient. Then we just uh, clean up and then uh, open the eyes wide. Give me some light, uh, don't forget. There's no light, we can't video actually. Uh. Put the dog towards more to the light. Uh. Yeah, correct, correct. See if there any ulcers or not. Okay, open up. With the light. No, just put the dog towards the light rather than light towards the dog. Yeah. Is there an ulcer? Oh, there's a white spot, right? There was the old the scar. Do you see the white spot? It's no, towards the light. I need the light a bit. You look at the, uh, uh, the light. Okay, there's a bit of a, a white scar. Do you see? Let me, let me see the side view. Come put your head away first. Yeah. Let me just focus. Turn, turn a bit towards me, a bit towards me, a bit, bit, bit by bit. You see the white scar there? It's a huge cornea ulcer. Uh, let me see. Because this dog was not a serious case. It's a superficial ulcerative keratitis. Let's clean the other eye. The other eye should, should have no ulcers at all. Okay, just use normal saline. Flush away the the, the dye. Yeah. Just put a bit more and then just finish it off one shot. Rather than do ten times, huh? just just flush it off one time or two times and just sit there. This is also to to lower the risk of injury to the dog's eye. The less we, we we clean the better for the dog also. Okay, that's it. There should be no green uh, ulceration. See, just point towards the light again. Okay. There was there is no white scar. Hold the dog. Hold the dog. The intern intern must not to hold the dog. Yeah, yeah this is another compare to the other side. The right eye. Open up again. Facing me, the eye. 
you can see a bit of a green in the center but uh, that's okay this healing okay so just uh, go home still the e-collar on for another seven days an advice to dog owners eye ulcers are emergencies get veterinary attention immediately to save the eye delays in treatment may lead to eye infections and damage the eye may be damaged beyond repair and the only option will be enucleation which is eyeball removal for more information about other cases, do visit the following link. For more information, feel free to contact Topayo Vets.